What's up YouTube, this is Nano the Barber here and welcome to Ask Nano number two. This is a video series where you guys ask the question and I answer it. So recently question I got asked was, um, how do I get clientele? Well, there's a lot that goes to it. Um, I'm just gonna say some simple tips just to get it out of the way. Get better. Post pictures of your work on Instagram. Be a good, nice person who conversates with your clients. Be tidy, clean. You wanna be good at what you do in every aspect in life, really. Okay, so let's talk about getting better. There's plenty of ways of getting better. You can go on YouTube, you can get, there's plenty of barber um, events going around um, in North America. It's, barbering is spreading, so, Right now is the easiest time to get that knowledge. I'm not the best, right? I'm always learning, learning, learning. I'm trying to be the best barber of myself. I'm not trying to compete with anyone else. You gotta be your best, not anyone else's best. That means that there's always room for improvement. You can always learn more. Moving on to uh, posting your work on Instagram. That's huge, man. Like these videos and photos, they blew up in your city and even out of your city. If you just use the simple tags that, uh, shout out to my boy Zay the Barber, Chuka Torres, 360GZ, if you use the tags that those guys use, your video will get views. Make sure it's shot in high quality as well. I'm not saying go and get yourself a DSLR, $3,000 camera. All I'm saying is make sure it's in focus, has nice brightness and nice exposure. You could do that with simple like iPhones nowadays. If you got the iPhone 5, 6, 7, 8, they're all good for taking pictures. Another thing is don't edit your pictures. You want people to see what your work is. If your work needs filter, you need to get better. So going back to step one, when you're not cutting, you should be on YouTube. How to do tapers, how to do high fades, how to bald out. You should be learning. Okay, three is um, being a kind person who listens to your client and stuff. You want to involve yourself with your client. You want to remember things about your client. If my client says he has a, this haircut is for a job interview, next time I see him, I'm going to say, yo, how did that job interview go? Being very nice to people. Like whenever I'm in the shop and it doesn't look like they're having a good time, you know, I try to hype them up. If they, if I think they don't like the music, I say, hey, bro, what do you want to play? Think about if you were in the chair if you're just getting a haircut what would you want you want good music good conversation all of that a good haircut that's why i say it starts in the barbershop you're not going to be the best barber just from social media but one thing i didn't mention that's huge this is crucial business cards uh you could get like 500 cards for like 10 bucks on vistaprint all you need is your barber name so none of the barber your real name and then uh, your phone number if you want to involve the shop you could do that involve the shop's website or your booking like however you book don't make it too complicated just make it so they can get a hold of you if they want to get a haircut make sure you add your instagram because that's your portfolio right so i'd go to universities schools um grocery stores man sometimes i'd be out with my girlfriend at stores and i'm giving away cards while she's doing whatever she's doing right you never know who's gonna be a client and at the end of the day if you give five cards away and four people throw out that card, throw it in the garbage, but one person comes back to you, boom, that's profits made. So you can't worry, oh, is this person going to like it, throw it in the garbage? Who cares? Just give it to them. There's a slight chance they will go on their Instagram, on your Instagram and check you out. Another thing I said was be clean. While you're doing your haircuts, neck dust, like dust them off, you know. Nobody wants hair all over their face when they're getting a haircut. We can all agree. Offer free free washes you know do something that the other barbers aren't doing enhancements that's huge right now in the barber community i don't know if you guys are on that or not i'm not against it if a client wants it i'm on it i got vegan i got case express i got topic spray i got enhanced by chuka the barber i got everything okay if a client wants it i got it i offer enhance for free now because it's so popular now the norm is to have a straight perfect perfect hairline so if i can do that for them i'm gonna do it for them at the end of the day to get more clientele you gotta grind focus on what makes you money and keep doing that the focus on what makes your clients happy and keep doing that you're gonna fall into this loop where it's like one client after the other after the other and also take in walk-ins make sure you're in the barbershop early and leave late if this video was valuable to you if you learned a little bit and want to see more ask nanos make sure you drop a question down below in the comment section or you could dm me that's where i get most of my questions or you can snapchat me nano barbershop on all platforms thank you for watching guys see you in the next video